is Omar Torres Courtright, and I'm the executive director of Segundo Ruiz Pelvis. My name is Christopher Granados, and I play clarinet in the program. My name is Wanda Ramos, and I play flute. My name is Alexis, and I play electric guitar. My name is Jonathan Campbell, and I play drums. Ready? One, two, one, two, and. It's been really an extraordinary experience. I think mostly because everything that we have done with Jonathan really, uh, in a way, encompasses what we're all about and what our mission is here. Uh, we are all about providing meaningful opportunities for young up-and-coming musicians. We have done that. We are also about professional local musicians and Puerto Rican musicians. So how do we encompass all that in a residency like this one, exactly with a project that is already kind of prepared and proven that has been taken to other places like Puerto Rico, Boston. So for us to be at the later part of the residency, there's just so much that we have learned and the young people that have been involved, I know that they will remember this for My experience with Jonathan has been very enlightening because we are exposed to music that is infused with jazz and Puerto Rican traditional music in a way I haven't heard before. It is a mix of jazz and like music from my culture put together that makes me feel really connected to my culture and with the music I like to play. Being able to learn from, from a, such amazing, not only musician, not only a great, beautiful saxophonist, but a composer. Learning all these things that I'm very new to, but being able to learn even within two rehearsals and within one show, learn this much has been very awesome, very amazing and inspiring as well. My experience with Jonathan so far is very exciting. Uh, that is one of the few things I look forward like, towards this week. Uh, I really love the rehearsals, the fact that he gives like, so much details and I can feel like the passion and it's very infectious as well. Um, it really makes me think of what I can do with my own work since I am also in school for music, uh, what I can you know, do in the music world, and now I see a lot of things that I can improve on as an upper rising musician. has been extraordinary to discover the music of Ricano because I am a fan of traditional music from Puerto Rico, from the Dominican Republic, from the Caribbean. And I'm also a big fan of jazz, right? So of course, yes, it has been done, the Afro-Caribbean jazz, but not quite like this. And, uh, and specifically using bomba and salve in the way it has been used and just all the different musical languages that are involved in this project and the different talents that everybody that has been involved in the project brings to the table. I think it's a, it's, it's a one-of-a-kind way of listening to Afro-Caribbean music in my experience. When I play the music of Ricano, it's very different because it's jazz, but not really at the same time. How I felt playing the music of Ricano is honestly a bit of, uh, inspiring because as I'm getting into the world of music in Chicago, being able to be inspired to make my own composition from where I'm from and all that stuff is just very inspiring for myself. Playing the music of Ricano, it really feels home, I should say. One word to sum up my experience with Ricano and this experience with Jonathan and with Segundo. I wish I had a sentence. Uh, Emotional. I feel very connected. It will be inspiring. Transformational. I can't think of anything but amazing. Uh, my time here and working with Jonathan has been amazing. 
uh, definitely, like I mentioned before, I learned a lot. Um, and it just made me realize, like, wow, like, I'm really working with, like, an up and rising artist. Like, it's so exciting, in my opinion. And I definitely, definitely pray, I definitely hope that I'll be able to play with Jonathan once again in the future.